Throughout his extensive career, this seasoned actor has made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. With roles spanning decades, he has become a timeless figure in the world of film. What qualities contribute to his lasting influence? Share your thoughts below. From memorable performances to a wide range of acting abilities, this actor has left a memorable impression on cinema. What enduring characteristics make him a symbol of the industry? If your insights are valuable, drop them in the comments. As we delve into the highlights of his career, we want to hear about your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this classic star. Share your stories below and let's celebrate the magic of cinema together. But hold on, stay tuned because we've got a lineup of fascinating, surprising, and emotional facts about this actor coming up. Keep watching to uncover these captivating details. Your journey into the world of entertainment has just begun. We're eager to hear your thoughts, memories, and reactions in the comments section. What's your standout moment involving this actor? Share it with us. And remember, there's more to discover about this Hollywood legend, so don't miss out on the interesting facts ahead. Keep watching for an inside look at his fascinating journey in the world of entertainment. A big name in Hollywood has left a lasting mark on the movie world. He's influenced how movies are made and enjoyed crossing generations. Known for playing all kinds of characters, he's won awards for his work. Besides acting, he's also gotten into making and directing films. His love for telling stories goes beyond the screen, inspiring both audiences and people wanting to make movies. Every role he takes on brings a realness that grabs people's attention around the world. Whether he's a tough cowboy, a troubled musician, or a wise mentor, his performances really stick with you. He's done a lot for movies, and his impact will be felt for a long time. This person's career shows how powerful storytelling is and how movies keep their magic. In a movie called Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, he played Lightfoot, a character that showed how good of an actor he is. People really liked his performance, and he got nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. What's interesting is that his nomination was the only one not connected to a movie nominated for Best Picture that year. Then, in 2010, he was up for the big award, Best Leading Actor, competing against Colin Firth. He won for his acting in Crazy Heart, showing everyone how talented he is. The next year, he and Firth were up against each other again, but this time Firth won. There's a song called Jeff Bridges by Midnight Choir that talks about how important he is in movies, both to fans and other actors. He's done a lot of great stuff in Hollywood, earning a lot of awards and respect along the way. Transitioning into philanthropy, he took on the role of national spokesperson and founder of No Kid Hungry from 2010 to 2011, actively contributing to the mission to fight childhood hunger. In his personal life, at the age of 33, he welcomed his second child with wife Susan. Their daughter, Jessica Lilly, was born on June 14, 1983. Known for his iconic portrayal of the dude in The Big Lebowski, he once humorously questioned the Coen brothers about the character's laid-back surfer persona during an interview for Inside the Actor Studio in 1994 asking, Did you guys hang out with me in high school? Navigating seamlessly between his roles on and off the screen, he has made significant contributions to both the entertainment industry and the fight against childhood hunger. Considered for important roles in the 80s, he almost got the lead in a movie called Thief because people thought he looked too young. Even though he said no to roles like Snake Plissken in Escape from New York and Macready in The Thing, he stayed good friends with Kurt Russell. He got nominated for an Oscar for a movie called Starman, directed by John Carpenter. Even though he didn't get to play John Rambo in First Blood, everyone in Hollywood knew who he was. He was really good at playing different kinds of characters like the mysterious guy in Starman or the tough guy in Escape from New York. He worked a lot with John Carpenter, and when he got nominated for an Oscar, it showed how talented he was and how close he was with Carpenter. It showed that making friends in the movie business is important. He might not have been in as many famous movies as some actors, but he still made a big impact. His journey in movies was like a story, with lots of different parts and choices. Even though he didn't get every role he wanted, he still left his mark on Hollywood. So, even though he missed out on some big roles, the work he did is still remembered today. It shows that he was an important part of Hollywood, not just as an actor, but as someone who made a difference in the movies he was in. In the film Heaven's Gate, the actor played the role of John H. Bridges. During filming, musicians arrived for a three-week shoot, but ended up staying for six months due to delays. Despite the extended wait, the experience was a mix of boredom and fun filled with jam sessions and adventures. These sessions sparked collaborations with Chris Christopherson, leading to projects like Crazy Heart. The film soundtrack, inspired by guitarist and songwriter Stephen Bruton, 
earned an Academy Award. Bridges' album featured the title song, What Love Can Do, paying tribute to Bruton's influence. In another movie, he portrayed an alien who forms a bond with an Earth woman, drawing inspiration from classic journey-based films. The actor was a close friend and collaborator of directors John Carpenter and Terry Gilliam contributing to their projects over the years. He was originally considered for a role in the movie Jackknife, but he turned it down. As a result, Robert De Niro ended up taking the lead part. He and Nick Nolte were thought about for the role of Detective Sonny Crockett in Miami Vice, but they were seen as too expensive. His godparents were Larry Parks and Betty Garrett, both actors. Despite his successful career, he stayed humble and often gave credit to those he worked with. He played a variety of characters in his career, from tough cowboys to troubled intellectuals, showing his versatility. He earned respect from audiences and other actors for his dedication to acting. Even though he faced challenges and missed chances, he kept on acting with determination. In the end, he made a big impact on the film industry, inspiring many actors. In an inspiring story of commitment, an actor immersed himself in the world of birds to bring a unique character to life. He studied bird behaviors extensively, spending countless hours observing them in their natural environment. Every movement and sound of the birds became his inspiration as he aimed to make his portrayal truly special. His dedication to authenticity was evident in his performances alongside Rachel Ward and James Woods in a Columbia Pictures film. Despite the glamour of Hollywood, he remained focused on perfecting his craft, never shying away from challenges. His nuanced approach showcased his talent and willingness to push artistic boundaries. As he explored ornithology further, he found parallels between bird behaviors and human emotions. Drawing inspiration from the graceful flight of birds and the protective nature of mothers, he brought depth to his characters. Critics and audiences alike praised his performances, recognizing his ability to blend his passion for birds with his acting skills. His legacy in cinema would forever be linked to his dedication and innovation. Each role he tackled allowed him to delve into the complexities of human nature, leaving a lasting impression on the silver screen for future generations. And so, the tale of an actor who delved into the world of birds to refine his craft became a symbol of passion and perseverance in pursuit of artistic excellence. And against all odds, Jeff Bridges played Terry Brogan alongside James Woods and Richard Widmark, both Oscar nominees. He also portrayed Jack in The Fisher King, sharing the screen with Robin Williams and Mercedes Ruhl, both Oscar winners. The film also featured Tom Waits, Dan Futterman, Richard Lagravnees, and Melbourne, all Oscar nominees. In Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, Bridges took on the role of Lightfoot and previously appeared with Gary Busey in The Last American Hero. Bridges' versatility shines through in these films, alongside other talented actors, making for memorable performances. In his journey through digital worlds, he faced challenges like hiding a funny bulge in his Tron outfit. Off-screen, he bonded with Harry Dean Stanton over Pong, even adding a scene to Rancho Deluxe. Their friendship wasn't just for show, it made the film feel real. He revisited Tron with Bruce Boxleitner, showing how lasting connections make stories timeless. His work isn't just about acting, it's about real moments that make movies special. In a well-known film, an actor took on the role of the dude, a character that left a lasting impression. Interestingly, the detective character in the story mentions that a certain character's family hails from a farm outside Moorhead, Minnesota. Moorhead happens to be where the actor's spouse is from, right across the state line from Fargo, North Dakota, which was the title of another film by the same directors. Notably, a cheerleading photo in the film shows the character wearing orange and black, the real school colors of Moorhead. During his younger years, this actor sold two pieces of music to a famous producer, Quincy Jones. At 31 years old, he became a father for the first time when his spouse Susan gave birth to their daughter Isabel Annie, also known as Isabel. In the realm of movie trivia, unexpected connections often emerge, shaping the behind-the-scenes tales of our favorite films. A notable instance involves an actor known for his diverse roles and lasting impact on the industry. During the filming of a certain cosmic-themed movie, reporters found themselves unable to interview the lead actor. Instead, they turned to another actor who had just finished his stint in a popular horror franchise. This twist of fate drew devoted fans of the horror series to the set the following day. In another intriguing twist, when casting for a gritty film set in the world of boxing, a renowned director initially had someone else in mind for a pivotal role. However, the actor's siblings suggested him instead, leading to a collaboration that showcased their chemistry and talent on screen. 
From cosmic adventures to down-to-earth dramas, the actor's journey through various genres captivated audiences worldwide. His performances, spanning across different characters and stories, leave a lasting impression on the silver screen. In the realm of cinema, one actor stands out for his versatility and memorable performances. He's been part of iconic movies like Against All Odds and Tron. In the former, he portrayed a character named Terry Brogan, reflecting the essence of the novel that inspired the film. Meanwhile, in Tron, the live-action scenes took place in Los Angeles, giving birth to a visually striking cyber world. The cinematographer's innovative techniques, including the use of black backgrounds and large format negatives, contributed to the film's distinct look. On set, the actor found himself surrounded by a multitude of colors, which added to the immersive experience. However, the production's technical demands posed challenges, drawing complaints from the local authorities. Despite these obstacles, the movie's unique visual style and groundbreaking approach left a lasting impression on the world of cinema. And the movie King Kong, filming kicked off in January 76 in California. The first scene captured was the Petrox Explorer setting sail from Surveya. Jeff Bridges, playing Jack Prescott, snuck aboard the ship the next night, marking the start of the film. He passed on the lead role in 48 HRS and 82, not keen on a straightforward police flick. The part ended up going to Nick Nolte. Later on, he collaborated with director Walter Hill and Wild Bill in 95. In Starman, there's a memorable scene where he walks outside naked, using a marble causing his hair to stand on end. The effect was achieved by shooting him hanging upside down and then matting the shot onto the background upright for a surreal look. Interestingly, his father, Lloyd Bridges, did a similar comedic shot in Airplane in 80. In The Big Lebowski, he fully embodied the persona of the dude by allowing himself to undergo a physical transformation. As Jack and the Fisher King, he notably donned the same Kaoru Beto baseball shirt that was iconic in the former film. What's more, he accessorized with a jersey featuring an image of a Japanese baseball player, a personal touch that carried over from the Big Lebowski. These seemingly small details exemplify his meticulous approach to character portrayal, showcasing his dedication to his craft. Bridges' keen eye for detail and his unwavering commitment to his role shine through in these subtle wardrobe choices, elevating the depth of his performances to new heights. Crafted with precision and care, these choices truly bring his characters to life, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Crafted with precision and care, these choices truly bring his characters to life, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In a world of lights, camera, action, there was a young actor whose journey began at a tender age, cradled in the arms of a Hollywood star. This early introduction to the movie scene hinted at a future filled with diverse roles and deep performances. As he navigated through Hollywood, various opportunities knocked on his door. One such instance was when he auditioned for a role in a famous thriller movie, but he narrowly missed out on it. However, this setback didn't deter him. Instead, it fueled his determination to excel in the craft of acting. His breakthrough came with a movie called Against All Odds, where he portrayed a character with many layers. What made his performance stand out was the attention to detail like the football team he represented on screen, borrowing real uniforms to add authenticity to the portrayal. His journey in the world of cinema is not just a story of success, but also resilience and dedication. From his early days to becoming a seasoned actor, he has left a lasting impression on audiences, bringing characters to life with depth and authenticity. His name isn't just synonymous with acting, but with storytelling itself. Every role he takes on is like a new chapter in a captivating narrative that continues to enthrall audiences worldwide. In The Big Lebowski, he portrayed the dude, a role so memorable that even the music choices became iconic. T-Bone Burnett, the movie's music consultant, shaped the dude's taste in music, including his dislike for the Eagles. This caused tension, leading to an altercation between him and Glenn Frey, a member of the band at a party. In Heaven's Gate, he played John H. Bridges, a character whose name mirrored his real great-grandfather's John Bridges. Despite his familiarity with script changes, he learned that the Coen brothers didn't alter their own material when he contacted John Goodman about rewrites for The Big Lebowski. Goodman reminded him that it was Coen territory. One actor stands out for his memorable roles in movies like The Big Lebowski. His ability to play a wide range of characters has made him a favorite among audiences. Beyond his on-screen talent, he has a strong connection to the United States Coast Guard, a bond he shares with his family. This shows his commitment not only to his career, but also to his country and loved ones. He's collaborated with famous directors like the Coen brothers, 
showcasing his skills in movies like True Grit. Throughout his career, he's been consistent in delivering authentic performances that touch the hearts of viewers worldwide. From playing laid-back characters to tough lawmen, he brings a sense of realism and humanity to his roles. In summary, this actor's career highlights his talent, versatility, and dedication. His roles have left a lasting impression on cinema, and his connection to the Coast Guard reflects his strong character and values. He remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, with a legacy that will inspire future generations of actors and filmmakers. Born to his parents, Jeff Bridges grew up alongside his siblings. In 1984, he starred in two movies, one as Terry Brogan and another as the titular character. The second film marked his collaboration with director John Carpenter, earning Bridges an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. He was born to Lloyd Bridges and Dorothy Dean Bridges. One of the movies he starred in was Starman, where he played the main role. It was directed by John Carpenter and got him an Academy Award nomination. Known for his immersive approach to roles, he brought depth to characters like the dude in The Big Lebowski, where he'd asked the Coen brothers if his character had smoked before filming scenes. His friendship with Tommy Lee Jones and Kurt Russell added layers to his personal and professional life. In Heaven's Gate, his portrayal of John H. Bridges saw his character's significance grow, as director Michael Cimino expanded Bridges' role during filming, impressed by his performance. This led to rewrites and an enhanced presence on screen. Bridges' ability to embody roles with authenticity made him a respected figure in the industry. An accomplished artist, he launched his first album, Be Here Now, under the Ramp Records label, a company he helped create. He's a big admirer of actors Robert Ryan and Lee Marvin, and his top movie pick is Billy Budd from 1962. You might recognize him as the dude in The Big Lebowski, where he shared the screen with Sam Elliott in The Contender. Besides acting, he's into music, showcasing his skills with heartfelt songs and meaningful lyrics. Alongside his acting career, he explores photography, capturing amazing moments. A strong supporter of environmental causes, he actively backs initiatives preserving our planet's beauty. Considered for a lead role in a notable film in 1985, he narrowly missed out to another actor. Over the years, he has appeared in several films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. His performances in most of these films earned him nominations, showcasing his talent and versatility. There was a particular role he was eager to take on in 1980, portraying a character who finds himself inadvertently becoming a stuntman on a movie set. This desire to play the role highlights his enthusiasm for challenging and dynamic characters. Overall, his career is marked by a consistent pursuit of intriguing roles and memorable performances. In the world of movies, an actor achieved a remarkable feat by portraying an extraterrestrial character in a film called Starman. This role earned him a nomination for Best Actor at the Oscars, making him the only one recognized for playing a non-humanoid being. Later on, he took on a different kind of role in a psychological drama where he played a psychologist treating a man claiming to be from another planet. Interestingly, there's a connection between this movie and his earlier work in Starman, as mentioned in the original novel. Moving on to another film, he starred alongside Robin Williams in The Fisher King, where they explore the concept of cloud busting. This theme resurfaces in another one of his movies, The Men Who Stare at Goats. These interconnected themes highlight the depth of his filmography. Overall, his career showcases a fascinating journey through extraterrestrial encounters and interconnected storylines. And against all odds, Jeff Bridges played Terry Brogan. It's interesting that Jane Greer, who appeared in a movie in 1951, ended up acting alongside him in this film. She actually held him as an infant in a scene from the company she keeps. Later, they both found out about this during the filming of Against All Odds. In Tron, he portrayed Kevin Flynn. On set, arcade games were set up for the actors to play during breaks. Bridges was particularly skilled at these games and often found it hard to stop playing to film scenes. Then, in The Big Lebowski, he became known as the dude. Despite John Goodman's denial, Bridges claimed that they ad lived much of their dialogue in the movie. This seems plausible, given the way they sometimes interrupt themselves and stutter during their lines. In a beloved movie, he portrayed the dude, a character that resonated with audiences worldwide. Years later, he reunited with a co-star for another film. Amid personal health struggles in 2020, he stayed resilient, continuing his work in the industry. In a well-known classic, he played Jack Prescott, sparking rumors of an on-set romance with a fellow actress. However, those rumors were debunked, as both actors were committed to other relationships. Despite the media frenzy, their friendship endured beyond the movie. 
through memorable roles like the dude and Jack Prescott, he established himself as a prominent figure in Hollywood. His career, marked by collaborations and personal challenges, serves as a testament to his unwavering dedication to acting. In the world of movies, a well-known actor, recognized for his roles in various films, was initially asked to star in a popular film by a director. However, he declined due to a busy schedule. Undeterred, the director kept him in mind and eventually created a character in another movie specifically for him. Drawing inspiration from a famous football player, the actor brought depth to his portrayal of the character. Interestingly, the movie also marked a reunion for him and another actor, creating a unique connection between the two across the years. In Hollywood, where schedules and choices shape careers, this actor's journey in the movie showcases the opportunities, influences, and unexpected reunions that contribute to the making of a film. In the world of movies, there's a performer who has left a lasting impression with his diverse roles. Known for his ability to dive into different characters, this actor has made his mark across various genres. Notably, he took on the role of Kevin Flynn in two films, one in 1982 and another in 2010. In these movies, he shared a unique distinction with another actor who played Alan Bradletron. In one film called Starman, the actor showed true dedication by hiring a dancer to help perfect the movements of his character, who was portrayed as naive. This attention to detail highlighted the actor's commitment to bringing authenticity to his performances. Starman was a significant part of his career, allowing him to explore the complexities of a character through thorough preparation. Additionally, this actor collaborated once again with another actress in a film called The Muse. Interestingly, this wasn't their first time working together, as they had shared the screen in a film from 1971. This journey through different movies and roles adds depth to the actor's body of work, showcasing his versatility across various narratives and genres. In the realm of this actor's films, each role contributes to a larger picture, from the digital world of Tron to the extraterrestrial experiences in Starman and the comedic moments of the muse. His ability to traverse different landscapes on screen is truly remarkable. In his journey through Hollywood, he had some big chances that slipped away. Once, he could have starred in a movie called Tequila Sunrise with Nick Nolte, but Nolte backed out, so he did too. Later on, Mel Gibson and Kurt Russell got those roles instead. He also had the opportunity to play Snake Plissken in Escape from New York, but turned it down. Kurt Russell ended up taking that part too, making their paths cross again. Another time, he was in the running for the lead role in The Thing, but that went to Kurt Russell as well. Besides acting, he's got a surprising hobby making ceramics. It's quite different from his tough guy image on screen, but it's something he's been quietly passionate about for years. Playing with Clay gives him a break from the craziness of Hollywood and lets him connect with something more real and down to earth. Even with these missed chances in his pottery hobby, Jeff Bridges is still a big deal in both movies and music. His talent and ability to do different things have left a lasting impact on the entertainment world. In the realm of entertainment, a seasoned actor has showcased diverse talents, not just on the screen, but also in the world of music. Taking a break from acting to explore a passion for music, a self-titled album was released during this phase. Despite success in acting, there's a notable presence in the music industry, emphasizing versatility. In an interview with Howard Stern, rumors about turning down a role in a famous film were addressed, clarifying the situation candidly. This honesty has endeared the artist to both fans and critics, showcasing a down-to-earth demeanor despite Hollywood fame. In both acting and musical pursuits, a lasting impression has been made, captivating audiences with charisma and talent. This individual remains a beloved figure in the entertainment world, with the creative footprint spanning various domains. A dedicated fan of Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys, he attended Palisades Charter High School in Los Angeles, California. In a particular movie, he starred alongside Richard Yeakel, who coincidentally competed with him for the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 1972. Although he didn't win, his co-star Ben Johnson did, and later he would portray Rooster Cogburn in another film, a role originally played by John Wayne, who had also acted alongside Yeakel. He earned his sixth Oscar nomination for the role. In Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, he played Lightfoot, and some sources say Clint Eastwood felt overshadowed by him. In Starman, he starred alongside Karen Allen, and they sang a duet, All I Have to Do is Dream, which made its way onto the movie's soundtrack. The song was also turned into a music video included in the DVD. He and Nick Nolte were considered for lead roles in Heat, which ultimately went to Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. In 1974, he turned down a role in The California Kid, 
choosing a different project instead. Later, he played the dude in The Big Lebowski, a role that became well known in his career. Interestingly, he wore the same baseball t-shirt in The Fisher King, showing a subtle connection between two very different films. In 2004, he was considered for the lead role in Kinsey, highlighting his versatility as an actor, but the part eventually went to Liam Neeson. Throughout his career, he has shown a talent for picking diverse and memorable roles that have left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. His ability to fully embody characters with depth and authenticity has established his position as one of the most respected actors in Hollywood. A huge admirer of the TV series Peaky Blinders, he spent a lot of time enjoying its intense stories and interesting characters. In the early 1970s, he got caught up in a passionate love story with Candy Clark, whom he met during the making of Fat City. In the film The Muse, he smoothly took on the role of Jack Warwick, sharing the screen with a bunch of famous faces, including Martin Scorsese, Stephen Wright, James Cameron, Rob Reiner, Sharon Stone, Albert Brooks, and Jennifer Tilly. This impressive group not only highlighted his acting skills, but also showed how well he works with other big names in the movie industry. His ability to adapt and collaborate speaks volumes about his lasting influence on the film scene, built over years of hard work and love for his craft.